There's a growing debate online for the best way to test for the Omicron variant. Should you swab the nose or the throat? ABC 10 News anchor Derek Stahl went in depth and found it depends on the test itself. At Alcala Labs, they process all kinds of COVID tests, but they're one of the few places in San Diego that offers PCR tests using saliva. The saliva test is used for uh, the less evasive for those who cannot handle uh, the swab up their nose. Uh, we just have them uh, salivate into a cup and then we test the saliva using PCR reaction. Lab manager Eric Brunson says saliva tests have been growing in popularity since the emergence of Omicron. A study by the University of Maryland found in the early days of infection, your chance of detecting Omicron is 12 times higher in saliva than in nasal samples. A study in South Africa concluded saliva swabs are the preferred sample for Omicron detection. With Omicron more than Delta, it, you're able to detect it in the saliva sooner than you are from your nose swab. Dr. Blythe Adamson says Omicron appears to grow more easily in the mouth and the throat than past variants. She oversaw a separate study comparing different types of tests against Omicron. The first thing that will test positive is that saliva PCR, and then maybe the next day the nasal PCR, and then maybe the next day the nasal rapid antigen, or another day after that. Keep in mind, all of these studies used lab-based PCR tests that were designed for saliva, but some people have started adapting at-home rapid tests that are supposed to be nose only. We actually found a YouTube video that we watched before I did it the first time. There's an online trend where people have started swabbing both their nose and their throat against the manufacturer's instructions. The FDA says that is not recommended. The environment in the mouth is very different than the environment in the nose, and there can be all sorts of inhibitors in the mouth. Uh, that could play a role. Dr. Omid Bakhtar says different at-home tests use different chemicals or reagents. Some might work with saliva, but others might not. Last week, scientists in Spain tried doing cheek swabs with rapid tests that were designed for the nose. The cheek swabs missed more than two-thirds of the infections. If you go outside the realm of the instructions of what the test says, then yes, you can invalidate that test. So my suggestion is you follow the particular test instructions that you were given for that particular test. Brunson says for now, people should leave the saliva testing to the labs. They're the only ones authorized to do them. Derek Stahl, ABC 10 News. Experts say the science on this is still evolving. None of the studies Derek mentioned has been published yet. And if you do opt for a saliva test, make sure not to eat or drink anything for at least 30 minutes beforehand. That can throw off the test.